Hello people, welcome back to my channel today. Hola, bienvenue dans mon canal. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yokoso. Today I decided to come up with 8 tips on how to look stylish for spring. If you want to see the rest, just keep on watching and I'm gonna tell you all about it as usual. Let's go! I'm doing NG fashion advice or any fashion related videos twice a week, Tuesday and Thursday at 3 pm Eastern time, so there's no reason for you to just not see me at all, and I do that every week. So, other than that, I have Instagram, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and everything else. It's gonna be in the description box below, as well as my website where you're gonna find my monthly magazine. And, 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 and the new thing I came up with a really, really great idea, but I need you guys to on there as well. A Facebook group, Facebook community and do a weekly challenge a fashion related weekly challenge it's all about having a specific team this week is gonna be being stylish with a single piece and one means a dress or jumper but it's gonna be one of the end of how to build everything around it and it's gonna be so much fun and I think it's just a great idea to be able to connect with more of you to talk to more of you everything that you see here is me giving you advice and now it's are able to just like let me know what is your fashion sense all about like posting one picture per week and it's like voting and having somebody that's gonna win at the end what are you getting well it's gonna be me Silence. <laughs> me doing a lookbook for you it's an online lookbook just because that way I'm gonna be able to do that for pretty much everybody so much fun guys I mean you literally literally don't want to miss it if you are really really interested Everything is gonna be linked in the description box below. I really, really love it. It's so. when it comes to dressing up for spring and looking super stylish. Transitional weather, where in the morning it's freaking, freaking cold. You kind of have to wear like something much more warmer because you just don't want to die. And I understand why. Throughout the day, it gets much warmer. You end up having your coat and you can't wear it because it's way too hot. First and first step here when it comes to being stylish, whether it's like for spring, winter, fall, or any type of weather, to be honest, to just be confident. It's not just looking confident, you have to feel it. Uh, being stylish, state of mind. You can look super, super stylish, but if you have that, what I call, bad energy around you, I don't think it's gonna be attracting people at the end of the day, projecting good vibe and good energy. And it's yes, about being well-dressed, but it's just have that cute smile, it's the smile some people are gonna be like what <laughs> what when I say smiling is the confidence is the energy that you bring to the table is the energy that you bring around you what usually people are attracted to you can look like a model you can look like really really good looking person really sexy really cute really beautiful but if you have the energy that just not with it are you gonna be attracting all type of people <laughs> to be honest and sometimes people that you necessarily don't want to attract just like <laughs> I am I, I'm a really big believer to you attract what you project so the energy for me is the self-confidence and the self-confidence it's not comparing yourself to everybody you're gonna meet all the time and just getting depressed because of that feeling good before even meeting people outside in the streets you have to be feeling really good in front of the mirror when you get dressed up when you're dressing up you need to feel that confidence you need to feel that kind of good energy around you I'm smiling i love smiling and sometimes i get sad as well sometimes i'm having really really bad moments i believe that it's not because of somebody in the street that i'm having that kind of bad moment so why would that person deserve that kind of bad treatment like i treat you the same way if you treat me really nicely even if you don't feel the self-confidence fake it you need to fake it until you believe it when you believe in it people are gonna see it you won't need to do much more and you won't need to talk too much people are just gonna feel the vibe coming from you you won't need to ask people to come to you they're gonna come to you i think everybody has its own definition when it comes to it but i believe that we all have that kind of guideline. If you're somebody who's basic, for example, I think uh, what you can do is just still being basic, but with that kind of like, more effect. For example, have a really nice t-shirt 
plain and have a jean you have your jacket and what you can do with the jacket and it's something that I do all the time most of the time actually is to roll it up by rolling it up you make it look so much cooler a gimmick it's a way to appropriate your own clothes have your clothes the way it is but you can appropriate it the way you want at the end of the day other thing you can do is to do the same for the jean and you can pair it with the uh, sneakers pairing blazers for example with sneakers is so cool spring is not warm enough to not have another wear and it's not cold enough to have a really heavy outerwear so you really in that kind of in between so you can play with your blazer here you can play with your outerwear and the blazer is a really nice trendy piece at the moment really really the perfect piece if you're not too sure going with the blazer is my is i think the safe way here this is really cool to me and this is trendy as well my third tip when it comes to being stylish for spring is to play with the outerwear again I'm talking about like the blazers but you have a lot when it comes to outerwear for spring you have the trench coat you have the kimono that is really trendy as well you have a lot a lot a lot around it so you can play with the blazer like I said, but you can choose something else. Trench coat is another basic piece when it comes to spring. And I love it a lot just because, again, it's layering. Layering is one of the best way to look stylish. To combine so many things. And at the same time, it could be so simple, but just the combination of all of the pieces together are gonna give you the look. It's gonna give you that best look that you're looking for. My favorite trench coat and it's gonna be this one. I'm gonna give you some similar options to it of course. In the back you have this part that I find is really cool. Simple yet has a nice detail. You can pretty much do a lot with it. What I call the basic trench coat. This one from H&M. I showed you that a lot many times now so um, don't think I should say a lot to it. Much more like longer. Love about this coat is the color. Nice piece and nice classic style, but the color makes it so much, much, much cuter. I think here is gonna be the perfect twist for your neutral. Not big on colors. I'd say you can go with something much more colorful as outerwear and go with something much more neutral as your like outfit i'm gonna link it in the description box below or find anything similar to it it's this one from zara i bought it last year actually i think it was during summer spring summer last year and they definitely have similar ones now because again like the, the other one that i showed you it's uh, so much colorful it's a really nice piece again when you have neutrals or if you have any colors even. If you want to see the neutral side again, I think this one is going to be perfect because it's going to be really good to twist and really, really easy to match. Really good one because any color that you're going to have on you, you're lucky enough to find it somewhere in the color family here. You play with the print. So again, the visual appeal is amazing. Favorite spring because I have so many blazers, it's like crazy. But my favorite one is this one from Zara. I bought it in December last year. It was on sale. The twist has the style, has everything you want and look for when you want to be stylish. Really nice piece of clothing. Pretty much pair it with anything. Classic piece. So if you want to play with the twist here is to go with something much less classic you don't want to go classic classic otherwise it's gonna look like a grandma Not my grandma but you necessarily don't want to have that same style at your current age and if you see that video Whenever I think about something, whenever I don't know what to wear, I'm just gonna go with it. It's amazing. I love it. I think, what, what, what can you love about it? What, what, what can you love about it? Because I think it's like amazing. What can you love about it? I love it. Half for you when it comes to looking super fabulous and stylish for spring is to play with accessories. A lot of ways to play with it. It's not just like the earrings to think beyond the jewelries it could be scarves it could be hats it could be sunglasses it could be so many things you can play with and play a wrong way when it comes to looking stylish a way to get warm and to stay warm without having to look like you're struggling with the weather <laughs> Yes, you are struggling with the weather, but you don't want to give that impression. I wouldn't want to give that impression. A colorful one, again, 
because it's straight and it's not winter anymore so you need to have colors in your head and colors well in your life because you've been six months in winter so you need colors a lot with your hair you can accessorize your bag you can do so much with it just need to play with everything you already have uh, i'm gonna give you a similar option as well i think for me it's the most versatile piece for your closet for spring so definitely invest in it because it's a really good basic second thing are the hats and i still have the tag price but it's okay <laughs> just one of like two basic really classic and super current trend for spring this year baker boy hat and this is at top shops fabulous gorgeous great option Second one is this one from zara recently bought it and i think it's much more appropriate for summer but you can start wearing it for spring as well if you live in some somewhere like a little bit like warmer than here in canada for now again it's a good piece to twist your outfit and the white top and the jeans with that again are gonna be really nice and white boots for example really cute look so last thing but not least are the sunglasses it might piece when you want to look cool even if you don't need them for sun you still need them for the style of it and i think it's so so cool it's aviators like it's a classic it's something that actually just go with everybody that i really love love the fact that they are transparent and i love the shape of it a nice big 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 trend for now is to have like that kind of like cat eyes matrix type of like um style i'm still not digging it too much but who knows I'm not sure I'm still not there yet so we'll see but for me for now i'm just not into it too much definitely the first accessories that you want to play with of course are your jewelries the earrings the rings the necklaces are just basics for me when it comes to like looking stylish comes to my other tips it's gonna be much more specific to a certain type of outfit you want to wear a dress and it's still too cold for the spring you can add a cargo jacket for example i think it's a cute nice way of just twisting look have it paired with like anchor boots i think they are so cute they are so nice and if it's still too cold wherever you are wherever you live you can opt for like semi sheer tights but try to stay away from the big opaque type of tights it's gonna give you a really type of like heaviness because they're like plain black so it's gonna like make the whole look a little bit much more like heavier so it's not gonna be a cute look visual appeal wise but you can definitely wear dresses i do that all the time i love dresses i love skirts i'm loving more and more changes because they're really easy to just put together when you just don't want to think about it dresses for me for spring are really cute you can mix match the style with something else that is really different and it's still gonna look really good so the ankle boots are just an example the sneakers are another example it's gonna be amazing i'm telling you it's gonna be amazing it's up to you to spice it up the way you want another great way to look like really nice for spring i think it's jumpsuits the con for jumpsuit is that when you want to go to the lady room you have to kind of like strip desirable the most comfortable thing when especially when it's cold and you are in this space, you're not at home, it says you don't like it. But jumpsuits are a really good space as well. I have the style of jumpsuit, they are the ones that actually could fit pretty much any type of body shape, depending on the type of jumpsuit. You have so many options when it comes to jumpsuit, you really, really, really can find the one for you. For your body shape the only thing that you need to think about is everything around it so it's going to be a coat it's going to be a jacket it's going to be the shoes but it's not to think about the top and then you have to think about the bottom because it's going to be all in one so the other, the other thing that is really big for spring is the pasta you don't even need to think too much about the style but it's the color that's going to make the whole difference it's really said a lot on that in my last video and i have the same type of advice in my magazine so it's gonna be linked in the description box below of course the colors are really great for anybody just because you can find the really best pastel color that's gonna be really good for your own skin tone combining everything when it comes to pastels it's just amazing because it's so it's so much effortless the trend is to have the whole same color suit 
it's amazing i think it's so nice i think that is a really great way to look stylish for spring it's a way to look chic it's a way to look cute it's a way to look like amazing with yourself <laughs> last thing that i'm gonna say here is to invest in basic for spring are mainly most of the time the crop cigarette pants because they're so cute so easy to pair up with boots and pair up with pretty much anything else in cargo jacket neck the striped boot neck tops the stripes are coming back stronger we have the pocket dots and then you have the stripes and both of them are really nice prints for spring really easy to look bigger than you are with stripes so all the way down just because they're gonna like kind of make you look a little bit thinner and if you have them on the other way they're gonna actually make everything look bigger great prints and they're what I call basic you can so you can actually play with them with a lot of other prints today I hope you liked it I, I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see much more videos like that definitely let me know free details on my challenge my weekly challenge on Facebook are gonna be linked in the description box below and my email address as well so if you have any questions if you have any comments just let me know down below and like I said if you want to join the group on Facebook it's gonna be down below just don't hesitate it's a really really nice group that I'm trying to like just like put together so don't 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 definitely don't hesitate when it comes to it because it's gonna be full of like good energy people just like myself and if you want to know the rest yes it's gonna be right there So yes. J'espère que vous avez aimé tous mes conseils. Je sais que c'était plus en français qu'en anglais, mais en fait plus en anglais. Si je peux mettre les sous-titres, je vais les mettre, bien évidemment. J'espère que vous avez aimé la vidéo. Si vous voulez des vidéos similaires, juste euh, n'hésitez pas. Il y en aura d'autres. Juste laissez-moi savoir au challenge, euh, par rapport au challenge de la semaine. Si vous êtes intéressé à vouloir rejoindre le groupe, définitivement laissez-moi savoir parce que je voudrais mon adresse email en bas. Et j'aurai toutes les informations reliées à ça en bas aussi, dans la boîte, juste en bas. N'hésitez juste pas. Big thumbs up if you like the video. I'm gonna be more than glad to actually know it. I'll see you next time on Thursday for my next video. And until then, I wish you a really great week. And a smile because it's free. Bye.